A chayil is a bird that lives forever. It's a bird that every thousand years goes up in flames and then begins life anew. But all creatures die. And the Medrash says that one exception to this rule is the phoenix. Because the phoenix only eats once a week. And that time is Saturday night. After Shabbos goes out, that is when the phoenix eats. And being that it did not eat from the Eitzadas, from the Tree of Knowledge, therefore it lives forever. As the phoenix approaches its death, it is consumed by flames of such degree that its whole body is turned to ash. From these ashes, a new phoenix is born. Myths vary as to the exact nature of this rebirth, as some hold that the phoenix must first transform into an egg during this process, while other, more modern depictions, sees a phoenix chick crawling directly from the sash. As a result of this remarkable method of self-renewal, the phoenix has grown a close association with the sun, bringing hope right when the night seems longest, representing the triumph of life and goodness over the endless blackness. The myth of the phoenix is deeply specific as to the surrounding factors in which this rebirth occurs. Supposedly residing in Arabia, the phoenix will fly to Heliopolis in Egypt, where it will immolate, and from these ashes, a worm will crawl forth and grow into a new phoenix. However, some versions of the myth find the phoenix building an egg of myrrh, wherein it places its parent phoenix for the parent's eventual rebirth, while others hold that it doesn't simply spontaneously ignite, Rather, it builds for itself a pyre from various spices. There are only two, a male and a female phoenix, on earth, which would explain why their sightings are so rare. So the Torah does mention the phoenix, and there are definitely sources. This morning I uh, got some test results back for coronavirus and it came back positive.